morning, Aiko. Oh, hey, Belly. What's wrong? Seems like something's bothering you. Yeah, life. <laughs> How are classes going? Uh, I don't want to talk about that. Mm, well, I think I have just the thing. I'm headed to the beach to work in a few poses. You should join me. Nothing like a little exercise to melt that stress away. Uh, not today. I'm just not feeling it. Will I at least be seeing you this weekend at the studio? I'll be there. I don't think I have anything else going on for once. Great! Can't wait. See you there. Dude. Bro. Asian chicks? Don't even get me started. I have, like, the worst case of yellow fever ever. Ever. <laughs> like a yellow plague. This is a tough approach. She's kind of in a shitty mood, so say something stupid to try and cheer her up. It doesn't matter what. The stupider, the better. Fuck these birds. Am I right? <laughs> no. I like the birds. Nah, I just like to bother people who look like they want to be left alone. Well, mission accomplished. Good work. I'm just trying to relax. Enjoy a little downtime between classes. I teach up at UOG. You know the place? It's like the only university in the city for some reason. Oh, so you got that whole sexy teacher angle going on then. I don't know about that. I have a couple students who might agree with you though. <laughs> I'm glad you came over here. I needed a good laugh. The kids call me Miss Yumi, but you can call me Aiko. Alright, so we have just met Aiko over here, who is a university teacher up at UOG, which apparently is the only university in the city. So we're going to go and have a chat with her. Yes? Uh, lame question, but what's your favorite color? That's how you know you've got nothing to talk about. <laughs> uh, I like green. You've learned Aiko's favorite color. Okay, let's talk with her again. Something I can help you with? What do you do? Like, for work, I mean. You mean besides the university professor thing? Oh yeah. <laughs> let's talk with her again. Yes? So, what did you study in college? I've got a master's degree in mathematics, and I regret it every day. Wow, okay. Um, she's... Her stomach is empty. If we try and talk to her now, she won't do anything. She'll just complain. I'm pretty fucking irritable when I'm hungry. Yeah. Let's probably, like, let her sort that out, and let's go and find that other girl that was here just now. Be a good boy out there. Are you serious? Oh, come on. Just try it on. It's going to look so cute. Try what on? There's nothing here. Come on. I saw it and I immediately thought of you. You're going to love it. I promise. Oh, my. <sighs> All right. Just make sure nobody else is around. Yeah, sure. The coast is clear. <laughs> You're good. Jess, I can't wear this. What are you talking about? You look cute. Cute? Oh, stop. There's nothing wrong with the little skin. You can't keep all that boob to yourself, hun. It's not fair to the rest of the world. The world will be just fine without my... boobs. Yeah, but I won't. Besides, it wasn't cheap. So, you're stuck with it. So come on. Let's go! I am not going anywhere in this. I'm changing back. Ugh, you are impossible. Enjoying the view? Quick, now's your chance. Before she goes to change, just say something, anything! Uh, uh... Excuse me, but if I don't stop you now, I'm going to regret it forever. What? Oh, jeez. Hi, sorry, um, I'm so embarrassed right now. My friend made me put this stupid thing on. Sorry, one second, let me go change. Oh, what, bikini? I hadn't even noticed. 
<laughs> Somehow, I'm not so sure I believe that. It's a little revealing, don't you think? I don't want people to think I'm like that, you know? Like what? Adorable? Too late. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I mean. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not that bad. I mean, if you're really saying you like it. Oh, and hi. The person inside of the bikini you're talking to? Her name is Belly. <laughs> so now we've met Belly. She actually has pretty nice colored eyes. Those are like a really nice colored eyes. I wish they weren't anime only, because that would be amazing in real life. I mean, it'll look a bit weird, but hey. I've been wondering about something lately. Are you happy with your body? What's not to be happy with? That's an interesting way to think about it. Very refreshing. Really? Okay. What can I do for you? Uh, so, how old are you exactly? I'll be turning 24 soon, but at the moment, I'm 23. You look like you have something to say. Hmm, let's see. Where is your favorite place to hang out? You know, I really enjoy spending time at the park, I notice. So, she's got an empty belly now. Let's go and find the other girl. Enjoy! Thanks, you too. Who am I kidding? These people don't even know that I'm actually speaking, so, you know. Hey, Lola. Aw, oh, you bitch. You didn't tell me you were back in town. Hey, lover. Just got in a couple days ago. Missed you. Excuses. You know you're supposed to check in with me as soon as you hit the ground. <laughs> of course. What was I thinking? I'm sorry, honey. Won't happen again. That's more like it. How have you been, my darling? Staying out of trouble? Well, I try, but trouble has a hard time staying out of me. Wow. <laughs> so I take it work is good? Never better, but enough about me. What's going on, girl? Any new mischief to share? Ugh, where do I start? Hold that thought. Have a seat. I'm going to go grab you a drink. I want to hear all about it. Uh, I'd love to. But... Yeah, I've got an early day tomorrow. I just stopped in for a second. Ugh, come on. You're not going to make me sit here and drink all by myself, are you? Rain check. I'll call you later this week. Girls' night out all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here already. Love you, baby. Mwah. Ooh, milk alert. Looks like a total cougar, too. I don't think you realize the gravity of the situation here. This is what separates the men from the boys. You've got to be aggressive. That nice guy shit isn't gonna cut it. <laughs> oh my god, I feel I feel bad just saying these things. Uh, that's a supremely nice set of tits. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Aren't they? What can I say? I'm blessed. I don't believe I've had the pleasure of meeting you. The cute ones are always hiding. Hun, do me a favor and help me out with my empty glass. Pretty please. What's in it for me? Oh, I can make it worth your while, sweetie. Trust me. So how many drinks does it take to get underneath that shirt? Only one way to find out, huh? You haven't even asked my name yet. I'm more than just a pretty face, you know. Most gentlemen your age know me as Misty, but you can call me Jessie. Makes you wonder you what she looks like. should feel honored. I only share that secret with people I like. So let's talk to talk with this um, chick a bit more. You can ask me anything you like. I have got to know. What cup size are you rocking? These puppies? Double D's. 100% natural, too. Pretty nice. Okay, so I've got a question for you. How important is family to you? Family is pretty important to me, you know? Absolutely. 
Unfortunately, my daughter doesn't really speak to me anymore. What are you gonna do? Aww. Let's play a fun game. It's called Make Jessie Happy. Quick, without looking. What's my cup size? You well, okay. You can take a quick peek. You happen to be a double D. Yeah, that's actually right. You're not like the others. Well, I'm pretty sure most people would be able to remember, you know, that specific piece of information about you. Now let's go and meet the other girl that was just here recently. Until next time. Excuse me, miss? Yeah? I've been here for a while now. I'm still waiting to be helped. Oh, yeah, so my shift just ended. I'm pretty much out the door already. Wow. Um, I think someone else should be in any minute. I'm just looking to get a cappuccino. It only takes a second. I mean, it's more than a second, so... Oh my god. Are you serious? I should have left over 15 minutes ago, okay? I'm done. Wow, okay. Mmm, mmm, I love me some chocolate. I'll have a tall glass of whatever she's serving. Know what I'm saying? Let's see. Considering what just went down, she's probably a little pissed off. Try to get on her good side. Open with something safe, like something she probably wants to hear. Okay. Uh, ridiculous. Do you want me to go talk to the manager? No, it's fine. Thanks for offering, but I'm not sure it would do much good. The nerve of some people, though. I mean, really, is a cup of coffee so much to ask? I know, right? So sorry to inconvenience you. Have you been waiting here long, too? Oh, yeah, but it's okay, because I've had you to admire while I wait. <laughs> is that the case? I'm glad I could be of service. I have to give you credit, though. That's pretty brave. You don't hear that often enough. Is that your technique? Hitting on girls at the coffee shop? Only if they're as cute as you are. Oh jeez, really? Alright, you're good. I'll tell you what, Big Shot. You caught me in a good mood. I normally don't give in so easily, so consider yourself lucky. My name is Lola. Pleasure. If I can get my cap sometime in the next year, maybe we can sit down. I want to hear more about how attractive I am. <laughs> so remember, guys, if a person is being yelled at at a coffee shop because they're late with their coffee, that would be a perfect time to catch them in a happy mood. Anyway, let's go and talk with her some more. Mind if I ask you a question? Sure. Do you enjoy drinking coffee? I like to brew myself a cup every now and then. Alright, fair enough. So, what happened there is... If you pick the wrong option, then you won't get any points, but they'll still, you know, accept you. I mean, it's not like there's a wrong option, there's only just an option that gives you points. And these are different depending on each girl, and each girl asks different questions. I just had a really good question in my head. Shit. Wait, got it! What motivates you to get up in the morning? The idea of seeing your beautiful face once more. <laughs> Nice try. Ah, <laughs> uh, who is worth a shot? What's cooking good looking? So I have to know, where's your favorite place to hang out? I enjoy visiting the cafe just about every morning. It's my little ritual. Alright, so let's go and find the other person who is here. She happens to be at a place called Lusty's Nightclub. Alright then. And we are in the evening apparently. This should move us into night. Yep. This should be interesting. Ugh, Audrey, can we leave now? Calm down, Nick. We just got here. Just got here? We've been here for at least an hour. Don't be such a downer. Loosen up a little. I'll buy you a drink. What do you want? I don't want anything. I'm not even old enough to drink. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Oh my god. Why 
Why do you do this every fucking time? Can't you just, like, chill out for once? I don't know. Have fun? This isn't fun. Everybody here is a complete douchebag. I told you I didn't want to come here and you dragged me anyway. Just like last time. Because you can't just sit in your room all day! You need to fucking exist or something! I don't sit in my room all day. Whatever! Go! Leave! Bye! Aw, oh, shit! I was afraid we might run into one of these. Doesn't look like she's a big fan of people. But... Your weirdness might actually pay off here. Really? Hmm. I never thought I'd say this to you, but... Just be yourself? Oh god, that's like one thing that nearly everyone doesn't want to hear because, you know, they don't know how to be themselves when they are told to be themselves. Uh... Hey. Hi. Um... I like your hair. Is that natural color? Seriously? Yeah, I have naturally blue hair, because that's a thing. Makes sense. Sorry, but can you leave me alone? There's plenty of other girls here for you to talk to. Uh, oh, alright, yeah. Sorry to bother you. Don't beat yourself up over it. She was a lost cause to begin with. Plenty of fish in the sea. Let's see, how about... Wait... Is she coming back over here? Wait, what? This ought to be interesting. Um, hey. You know what? It's Nikki. My name. Maybe I was a little bit quick to judge. Force of habit. I'm normally not the type of girl that, like, talks to people or whatever. But I guess you can keep me company until my friend is ready to go. Alright, so we've just met one of those introverted shy people who don't like to speak to anybody. And ironically enough, she's speaking to me. Through either through a divine twist of fate or simply because of the linearity of this game, which is not a bad thing. We have no idea. Anything you want to talk about? Uh, let's see. Um, do you prefer one season over the others? Not really. But winter is pretty cool because nobody bugs me to go outside. Better start with all the obscure questions first in this case, I think. Um, so... Yeah. yeah. Uh, forgive me, I haven't even asked your last name yet. It's fine, that's just how guys are. It's Anne-Marie. I don't mean to pry or anything, but I've gotta ask. What kind of games do you play? What kind of games do I play? Well, that is kind of an ironic question, isn't it? <laughs> um, I am more of an old school gamer. Nothing like the classics, you know. Thank God. I was afraid you were another one of these FPS bros. Oh no, no, no. FPS bros are no go for me. Unless it's Skyrim. Wait, but Skyrim isn't a FPS, it's just an FP. Oh well. Um, we are going to want to talk to this person some more, so let's go and give her some food. Let's get some cotton candy and some jelly beans. Well, I'm not going to turn down free candy. Especially not in a nightclub, because, you know, candy is always served in nightclubs. The best candies are in nightclubs. So as you can see, it says the nutrition value there in the cotton candy, like in this window that pops up, right? And the thing that we just gave her last time, jelly beans, had a nutrition value of 1, so that gave us 1 square. So if we give her this, then we'll gain 3 squares and we'll have a total of 4. Simple, right? Yeah, okay. Thanks. And every time you talk to a girl, it takes out 2 of their hunger meter. I think that's always, but there could be certain instances where it's 3, but I don't know. Just assume it's 2 on less of not, basically. Anything you want to talk about? Um, what do you study in college? I'm not going to college. Oh. Going through high school was enough bullshit for me. Oh, I see. Um, so... Yeah. Yeah. This is random, but how tall are you? <sighs> I'm only five feet tall. I'm like the shortest person I know. But only five feet tall? Wow. Okay. 
Um, let's go and find that other girl who was here. Uh, me too. I need to go home and pass out. Have fun with that. <laughs>